So Rhonda was um, rescued from a high kill shelter where they kill roughly 30 dogs a day. And there's an organization called Paws for Life Canine Rescue. Yeah. And they go to these high kill shelters and essentially repurpose these dogs. So they'll find some dogs that meet some basic criteria of being very mellow, loving, sweet dogs. And they put them through a training program at a couple state prisons in the state of California. So these prisoners, um, most of which are serving life in prison, are all under the same mentality that we're here forever. Let's make the best of it and let's do something to give back to the community that, that we let down. Wow. And that was, I went and visited the prison and that was the message that I got from them. Yeah. They wanted a second chance at an opportunity to help mankind. And so what they do is they take these dogs and they've, they've been through training themselves and they go through tons of different commands with them. They go through a basic obedience school and then they adopt, people can adopt these dogs. Once they finish the obedience school, if they feel the dog is special, like Rhonda, um, is very smart, learns quickly, very sensitive, very sweet, very loving, very calm, very calm, that they'll go through this service dog program, which is a little more strenuous, more commands, higher expectations. And um, the dog is assigned to a, a, a few prisoners and they work with the dog all day throughout the night. So the program prior, before we got Rhonda, what their number one goal was they would take these service dogs and they, veterans that were diagnosed with PTSD would be assigned a dog. So they would fill out a form. Um, they would have actually had to have been diagnosed with PTSD from a physician and they'd be able to get a dog. They go through a two week training program with the prisoner at the prison with the dog. Wow. And then once they finish, then they're able to take the dog home and they keep the you know, tool sharp. They do the training every day. So we reached out where I reached out to them and asked if if the fire department could could have one for um, for emotional support and they were absolutely fired up on it and uh, Rhonda did my, nine months hard time, <laughs> hard time. <laughs> she was in prison for nine she was months in prison for nine months but uh, she had a good time and now she's now she's at the firehouse That's amazing. what a win-win 